Hello there, you are welcome back. So, in this presentation, we will learn about the depreciation. What is depreciation and what is the accounting treatment of the depreciation in the books of accounting? So, let's start. So, depreciation can be understood as reduction in the value of an asset. This asset can be your building, your machinery your furniture. On account of normal wear and tear that is due to the normal usage of the asset or the flux of the time. It means with the passage of the time there will be the reduction in the asset. So it's a type of the revenue expense. We have already seen in our last video that all the expenses it will be debited. So debit all expenses and credit all the income. Depreciation being a revenue expense, it will be recorded on the debit side or on the expense side of the profit and loss account. So we have the three transaction here. First, the Ram started his business with cash, uh, rupees 1 lakh. Then he purchased the machinery with cash of Rs. 50,000 and on that machinery he charged the depreciation worth Rs. 10,000. So we will understand the accounting treatment of the depreciation through these entries. So uh, when we say that depreciation is charged on the machinery then there are the two results. First, since it's an expense and second effect is that there will be the reduction in the value of machinery. So since it's an expense, so it will be debited. On the other hand, if there is a reduction in the value of an asset, so that effect will be credited. So general entry will be like that, depreciation account debit to the machinery account. So we have prepared the journal for these three transactions. So in first case, the Ram started business with the cash. So cash account debit to the capital account. Next, he purchased the machinery for Rs. 50,000. The machinery account will be debited to cash account since cash is going down. And on this machinery, when we use this machinery for one year, like we have purchased this machinery on 1st April 2018. And after using this machinery for one year, then at the end of the year, it means 31st March 2019, we will charge the depreciation. We will write the depreciation account debit to machinery account. Now this general entry, it will be posted to the T-shaped account. That will be known as the depreciation account and the machinery account. So we have prepared the journal. Now we will prepare the T-shaped account. So we will write the depreciation account debit to the machinery account by rupees 10,000. Now after posting this entry, we need to balance this thing. So we will write the balance CD here and we will write 10,000 and the total comes to 10,000. And we will also post this entry to the machinery account. So here if you can see then your machinery account, yes, your machinery account it will increase. You will write the machinery account debit to the cash account. This was your first and uh, second entry where you purchased the machinery on 1st April 2018. Now at the end of the year you will depreci you will charge the depreciation for the one year. So we will write 10,000. So it was all about the posting. Now we need to also balance this account. So if you see here you have written the 50,000 and here it's 10,000. So debit side is greater than the credit side. So we will write the 50,000 here and any shortage it will be written as a balance CD. So this is 40,000. So you purchase the machinery worth rupees 50,000 you charge depreciation worth rupees 10,000 
so remaining balance of the machinery is 40,000 it will be carried down yeah sorry it will be brought down this CD will become the BD in the next year so we have prepared the depreciation account and the machinery account these balances will be transferred to the trial balance now since we are dealing with the depreciation account only so we have seen uh, we have recorded only the depreciation account now so debit balance rupees 10,000 don't forget that this CD will become the BD and we will record that balance here in the trial balance so next uh, from the trial balance we will prepare the profit and loss account and the balance sheet so this depreciation will be transferred here and we already have the gross profit that we have uh, received from the trial balance. So out of this 70,000 will charge 10,000 for depreciation and remaining balance of 60,000 it will be uh, written as the net profit. Since this profit belongs to the capital provider or the owner of the business. So this net profit it will be added here to the capital account even if there will be the net loss then it will be deducted from the capital account on the other hand we have the cash of rupees 120,000 machinery rupees 50k and from that we have charged the depreciation of rupees 10k so the remaining balance of the machinery is 40,000 that we have shown here so if you do the total of this uh, liabilities and the asset side and the total comes to 160000 so that's all about uh, for the depreciation thank you so much for listening